Hello and welcome to Coiled. In this lecture, we're going to decoil transitory ischemic attack. And you're going to learn what is transitory ischemic attack? What is a stroke? What are the differences between transitory ischemic attack and stroke? What are the signs and symptoms of transitory ischemic attack? And what is Amorosis fugax? So what is transitory ischemic attack? It is a temporary neurological deficit that is caused by temporary ischemia of either brain, spinal cord, or retina. As a analogy of transitory ischemic attack, we could take angina pectoris. But in case of angina pectoris, the main clinical sign is pain. In contrast to this, in transitory ischemic attack, the main clinical presentation is a focal neurological deficit. As for example, one-sided hand paresis, or one-sided face paresis, or speech deficit, that we call aphasia or temporary one-sided blindness. The thing that I want you to understand is that transitory ischemic attack is only a ischemic attack and thus there is no structural defect in the CNS. The patients after this attack will fully functionally recover and according to definition, they have to recover earlier than in 24 hours. Nevertheless, absolute majority of cases will normalize in the first hour after the attack. So complete definition of transitory ischemic attack has two major conditions. First condition is the fully reversible functional deficit that normalizes within 24 hours. The second crucial condition is that there is no structural lesion found on CT or MRI. Or to be even more precise, no fresh lesions present on CT or MRI. And this means even several days after transitory ischemic attack. Why several days will be explained in the lecture about different types of stroke. And what is Amaurosis fugax? Well, Amaurosis comes from Greek and means darkening. And fugax comes from Latin and means to run. Thus, we could loosely translate this as short-term darkening, or in other words, transient blindness. And the mechanism of this short-term blindness is transitory ischemic attack located in the retina. In this case, the short-term means rather seconds, and the vision normalizes most commonly within one minute and is typically one-sided. Interestingly, this rather one-sided blindness in some cases just comes and goes without any obvious triggers. And in some cases, this blindness attack is triggered when the retina is exposed to bright light.
And now let's make a small detour because I have a question for you. And this question will be answered at the end of this lecture. And the question is, what could be the causes of these two different scenarios? So now, please pause the lecture for a sec and try to figure out the possible causes. There are obviously more explanations possible and I will give you the two most probable ones at the end. Okay, and now let's switch to stroke, or in other words, cerebrovascular accident. Well, and with stroke, the clinical manifestations can start in a very similar fashion as transitory ischemic attacks. So again, it could start, for example, as one-sided hand weakness or one-sided facial weakness, aphasia or blindness. But these neurological manifestations are in comparison with transitory ischemic attacks long-lasting and unfortunately permanent in majority of cases. And what I want you to understand is that it is a very wide spectrum of manifestations from barely recognizable ones, like for example, some sensoric deficits, to serious hemiparesis, or even to states with impaired consciousness. So to finally decoil stroke, Stroke is a long-lasting neurological deficit that is based on vascular lesion and the lesion is either due to vessel occlusion or vessel rupture. So in other words, this means that the structural CNS lesions in stroke are in majority of cases confirmed by a CT or MRI scan. In case of vessel occlusion, we call this ischemic stroke. In case of vessel rupture, we call this hemorrhagic stroke. And only remember that transitory ischemic attacks are in relation with the ischemic strokes. Also, ischemic strokes are much more common, like 80% of all strokes, in comparison with hemorrhagic strokes that account for the rest of the strokes. Okay, and now let's answer the question about possible causes of amaurosis fugax. The cause of the first example where the blindness suddenly comes and goes without any obvious trigger is possibly due to embolus that flew into retina but got fortunately dissolved before causing any permanent lesions. The second mechanism when blindness is triggered by bright light could be explained by a severe stenosis of the carotid artery that is supplying the retina through its distant branches and when the retina is exposed to bright light, the metabolic demand increases severely, but unfortunately the arteries supplying this retina are not able to adequately increase the perfusion and thus transient retinal ischemia develops. why it is so important to recognize transitory ischemic attack? Well, because it is a warning signal 
a warning signal of possible future stroke. And the signal is pretty serious because 10 to 15% of these patients will develop stroke in the next three months. And even more, half of these patients will develop stroke in the next 48 hours. And thus, if someone has only transitory ischemic attack, and although all the neurological findings normalize, you still have to look immediately for the cause. So, okay, to recap, well, so transitory ischemic attack is a reversible functional deficit without any structural CNS lesions found on CT or MRI scans. On the other hand, stroke, or in other words, cerebrovascular accident, is a permanent neurological deficit that is confirmed by structural lesions found on CT or MRI. Amaurosis fugax is a reversible blindness that takes typically only seconds and is taken as a transitory ischemic attack of the retina. If someone has transitory ischemic attack, he has a high risk of stroke, and thus you should look for the cause. You should check the heart, you should check the carotids, and you should check the other branches of the carotids. Okay, so that's all about transitory ischemic attack. And if you are interested in what is subarachnoid bleeding, just check the lecture on types of stroke. And if you wonder what is zona penumbra, just check the video on zona penumbra. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.